Big thank you to PCBWay for sponsoring this video. And the last time we got PCBWay parts, I said that the next time I was going to open them together on camera, and that is what we're gonna do here today. And I am excited about this one because a little while ago we did a CAD stream where I CADed up a chassis design for a loan bot that I wanted to be running. And I've got PCBWay to print that for me in a nylon material so this should be basically indestructible especially in the b league which is where all of these go and hello everybody i am ben from team panic and oh, oh this thing looks awesome oh it's got a bit of heft to it as well because obviously uh, I didn't specify any print settings, so this might actually be printed solid, which will mean that this part here is going to be ridiculously indestructible. Oh, this has come out amazingly well. I was a little bit worried that this front section wasn't going to be that well secured, but oh, <laughs> look at that. That is gorgeous. It's got a little bit of a texture to it from the actual printing uh, methodology but that works really really well and it looks so nice okay so today we're going to go through and uh, finish this off and make it into a full loan bot so obviously I am super jazzed about the chassis and as it's supposed to last for a long time I've gone ahead and I've printed it a really cool transparent green top plate which will be awesome once there's some light inside the robot with the power light going, that's gonna be great. We're going to uh, put in a brand new Malinky Nano and also give it some Pololu wheels just to give it the best grip that we can possibly give it at this point in time. And as mentioned, uh, this is gonna be fairly indestructible. So I wanted to build another lone bot that was fairly indestructible. Then I realized I kind of had that already. This here is slightly rubber. It is a TPU print from a very, very long time ago, designed after my very first featherweight, uh, and it proved itself to be fairly indestructible. There are some chips and nicks and stuff on the front wedge from when this was running in the open league up against full spinners. Admittedly, this was a little while ago, so the spinners weren't quite at the caliber they are today, but it's still a fairly impressive feat for what is effectively just a 3D printed wedge. So I figured that what we're going to try, try and do today is uh, build two indestructible robots. Hopefully both of them get loaned out at the next meet and we can see which one is more indestructible than the other. We'll probably do a little follow-up video if they both get loaned out. Uh, this guy, Slightly Robert, is actually running some, I think they are RC car tires. Either that or there's some kind of like big slot car tires or something. They're a rubber rim around an aluminium hub and I can get away with that because this thing is really, really light. Uh, so let's print this a top plate as well. But the twist in this particular case is we are going to go ahead and use the very cheap ESC and uh, transmitter combo that I found in one of my trying to find cheap transmitter and receiver combinations. So this is that board. We could just mount it right in the bottom here, but actually I kind of want to mount this to the lid to give it a solid place to be mounted into. So let's print that lid up right now. Here it is, lid acquired. So this actually sits in this way and has some bolt holes to bolt everything in place. I might need to go through and shorten some of the clips at the back here, the through hole connectors that have been soldered in place. But you can see we have a hole in the front here, which will be for the switch. It should be activatable with a screwdriver in that hole, which is gonna be perfect. And that should sort this whole thing out just like this. But obviously I'm going to need to go through and shorten all these wires. These are all the wires that we use for testing, which uh, yeah, realistically not good enough. Uh, so we need to go ahead and fix that issue. And at the same time, we need to resolder this or solder up a brand new Malinky uh, for this new robot.
Ah, so I am super, super happy with how these have turned out. I mean, uh, Slightly Rubber here has a small issue where this second wheel or the left-hand side wheel is just not quite big enough. It seems to be like half a mil shorter than the right-hand wheel and that's causing everything to scrape because Slightly Rubber was designed for larger wheels than this. Uh, this is an easy fix. I can either find another one of these in my collection that is big enough, or I can just swap it over to bigger wheels. Either way, should be totally fine. Uh, something with that will happen before the competition, which would be really, really cool to see Slightly Rubber actually in and working. And then, of course, our, uh, our new loan bot here is really, really cool. It does wheelie a little bit, but that's actually fine because with the way the geometry works, the wheelie only pops to about here, which is not bad. And look, it's going to give somebody an opportunity or an excuse to uh, learn how to drive slowly or take off slowly because that is going to be a thing that needs to happen with this. Also, uh, oh, actually it does sit. It's supposed to rock off that point, but I guess I didn't quite uh, get my angles right on this back plate. I really should have tested that first. That's okay, that'll be all right. Um, it is just a lone bot, it should be fine. And hopefully, whoever they're fighting doesn't stack them on a wall because that could work badly. However, this front wedge section has worked out really, really well. A lot of this touches the ground, so it's gonna become a really nice scoop and a really nice dustpan without a dustpan base, which is awesome. And you can see it works actually quite well, uh, especially, uh, <laughs> let's see if I can do this. Uh, yeah, there we go. Look at that. It works really, really well. I am super, super happy with this design and this build. It has just it's worked out good. I like it a lot. Uh, but yeah, so there we go. This is a first for me. I now have two robots that I can loan out to people uh, at the next meet, which was really, really exciting. Speaking of the next meet, it is coming up quite, quite soon. Uh, so the next thing we're going to look at is finishing off Annie ready for that meet because I have some interesting fun things to do with Annie before then. Uh, and then we'll look at a fight recap, I think. So hope you guys have enjoyed this one and I will see you in the next video.